This is a big bird. Yeah, he's huge. Let's see what you got. I thought it was an impacted crop. Yeah. Kind of packed up with mm -hmm. it. See how it feels. So I didn't know what yeah. it was. So I'm pretty concerned. It is probably crop related. Well, let's go back in and take a peek and see okay. what we got going on. Tom, you're a big boy. I'll know more hopefully in a few minutes. All right, man. <laughs> Tom, big as you. He, Tom is big as me. <laughs> The crop on a turkey is actually an enlarged pouch. It's part of the esophagus that helps store food. When I see a turkey with a really enlarged crop, one of the things that come to mind is crop impaction. That's where the turkey's esophagus gets impacted with foreign material. It also could potentially be parasites. Give me a fecal run. Okay. Since the crop is part of the digestive system, I'm gonna start with a fecal exam and figure out exactly what's going on. All right, Tom, I don't think you're gonna like this. You holding his hand pretty good. This is because I've never done it before. <laughs> you got glass, you got protection. Yeah. So if you pick your eye, you'd be fine. All right. He ain't so happy no more. Hey, Tom, dinner on me. So we're just kind of filling the crop. It's quite fluid. Let's take a look at the x-ray. Okay. When I palpate this turkey's crop, I'm not feeling something that kind of feels like Play-Doh, which oftentimes we see with impacted crop. This one actually feels more fluid. So while I'm waiting on the fecal results, I'm gonna get a better view of what's going on on the inside of this turkey. Wow. I don't think that's food. It's definitely more fluid. You ain't got nothing in your crop. This is uh, different. Usually I see like an impacted crop, but I mean, this crop is humongous. But it's, I mean, it's literally filled with fluid. Hey, Doc. Huh? It's coming out. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Hmm. All right, Tom, it's OK. I got to figure out exactly what is going on. Hey, it's all right. All right, let's go check this fecal results. OK. You got to figure it out. So the x-rays show that there's no food or any hard material in this crop. It's just fluid, and it smells like sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is when there's infection inside of the digestive tract. So I want to take a look at Tom's fecal to see if there's any reason that anything in the stool could be causing this fluid. All right, I got to the bottom of Tom the turkey. It's OK, big guy. All right, come on back. You might have to put your knees on this. You might have to. So there's a brown thing in there. You see it? Yep. So we got hookworm and something called sauerkraut. Oh, no. Anything that causes ileus or slow the intestinal tract down, it can lead to sauerkraut. The overgrowth of yeast and fungus, it stops the emptying of the crop. Yep. It can be fatal. So, see if I can try to open it and get rid of some of this doggone fluid. All right, appreciate it. All right. We need to remove this fluid ASAP because this crop cannot empty. If we don't remove this fluid, this can cause asphyxiation. Going to sleep that, buddy? But also, as we put this turkey on it, we got to keep a close watch to make sure that we don't cause any aspiration because that could lead to aspiration pneumonia, which could lead to death. How we seem to be doing that, Jordan? Sounds great. That is what I'm worried about there. That's all right, you're doing fine. And it stinks. That is what two sauerkraut smells like. Woo, that smells there, Jordan. Yeah, it does. You know, sometimes when you clean out your refrigerator, there's been something in the back and it's expired and you don't have any idea it was back there. Mm, sour. And when you take it out and you get a whiff, that's what sauerkraut smells like. Let's open up this crop. I'm going to be fast. Definitely don't want to keep them down long. How we sound in there? Great. Sounds real steady. I'm going to try to open this up. Uh, there we go. All right, we got some fluid. Ugh. So you got a whiff. Some bad stuff. He has quite a bit of fat in there. So I can only get out so much, but this will definitely help. So we're gonna suit this up. What we're gonna do now is get some eggs and hope for the best. Yes, sir. Let's wake him up. I was able to open up that crop, and it is funky. We was able to remove some of it. We did provide some relief, but what I'm gonna do is do some medication and see if we can make it better. A lot of what we feel in here, I mean, he got a lot of fat. All right. That's one thing going on, too. We got a bit of fluid out. Jordan got a whiff of it. Oh, yeah, that was bad. You're waking up, so we're going to get some meds and get you on out here. All right, appreciate All it. All right. All right. We got some medicine over here. I mean, you got to take care of Tom and Turkey. OK. Come on over here. Who's going to be the squirtle? Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here, Kelly. So one thing you can do is kind of put my hand over the eyes. You can't really see what's coming, OK? OK. Your brother's supposed to be done. <laughs> right, go ahead. Nice. Got a girl. Good job. Did not know at all what sour crop was. I thought he said sour kraut. It, you know, something new. Coming here with Tom today helped out tremendously. You know, we got a little medicine, made the kids happy. If Tom's happy and the kids are happy, I mean, it was a great day. There we go. All right, Tom.